News and programming is sponsored by Desert View Hospital, providing emergency medical care around the clock at 360 South Lola Lane. Learn more at DesertViewHospital.com. Physicians are not employees or agents of this hospital. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. News 46 is also brought to you by Humana, serving the community. Please stop in at 1397 South Loop Road on the corner of Loop and Highway 160. Tonight on News 46, a local is arrested for sexual assault. And up, up, and away, the Balloon Fest is coming back to Pahrump. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unette Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Police conduct an arrest on alleged felony suspect. It's Tuesday, February 20th. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Unette Gentry. Not much information is being released right now about a man they say burglarized and raped his victim. Jeffrey Fonseca Gomez has been arrested by the Nye County Sheriff's Office. Gomez has been charged with sexual assault and burglary in the first degree. On February 10th, Detective Wesley Fancher from the Nye County Sheriff's Office conducted the felony arrest. Please say no further information can be released at this time to protect the identity of the victims in this case. Gomez is being held on a bond amount of $55,000. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. 15-year-old student Peter Wang was honored by the Army today. The JROTC cadet died in uniform, saving the lives of others when a gunman opened fire on his Florida high school last Wednesday, killing 17 people. Although Wang never served in the U.S. Armed Forces, the Army recognized him with the Medal of Heroism, the highest honor for ROTC students, as well as posthumous admission to the prestigious Military Academy, West Point. And with that, the U.S. Army's Medal of Heroism. In addition to Wang, the U.S. Army Cadet Command is awarding the medal to two other cadets, Elena Petty and Martin Duque, also among the 17 who died. The gunman, Nicholas Cruz, was once a junior reserve officer's training corps cadet as well. The Medal of Heroism is a military decoration awarded by the Department of the Army to a JROTC cadet who performs an act of heroism. And the Florida State House has rejected a ban on assault weapons and large capacity magazines as dozens of survivors of last week's school shooting headed to the state capitol to turn their grief into political action. Lawmakers voted down a motion to consider the ban during a session that opened with a prayer for the 17 people killed by a former student last Wednesday at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. The vote was 36 to 71. President Trump, Donald Trump says he has directed his attorney general to propose changes that would ban so-called bump stocks, which make it easier to fire rounds of ammunition more quickly. In December, the Justice Department announced that it had begun a federal rulemaking process that could reinterpret the legality of certain bump fire stock devices, a piece of equipment that enabled the Las Vegas gunman in October to fire on concert goers more rapidly mimicking automatic fire. And today's Business First Brief, Angela Miles talks about paychecks. Tapping our news, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin expects to roll out a new calculator this week. It will help Americans figure out how to adjust their tax withholdings under the new tax law. According to TheHill.com, many employers are already adopting new withholding plans that could mean fatter paychecks for many Americans. Democrats warn some taxpayers expecting refunds may end up paying the IRS the following year. CEO Pay on Wall Street is in focus. Jamie Dimon tops the list for the second year in a row as the highest paid big banker. The CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase earned $29.5 million with a 5.4% raise. 
Citigroup CEO Michael Corbett received the biggest boost. He earned $23 million with a 48% pay increase. Corbett took a pay cut in recent years due to the bank's poor performance. Thanks, Angela, and stay tuned. In this week's court report, we're addressing several accused sexual predators. We'll be right back.